Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at our Brick Series PLC email system and what, in particularly what we're going to be doing is emailing um, out through the PLC. Also we'll do text SMS messaging and this is all using Gmail which is relatively, relatively available everywhere as long as we have an internet connection. And the first thing we'll do is actually talk about um, sending emails out and basically uh, Google uh, Google Gmail in particularly uses simple mail transfer protocol or SMTP and it's an internet standard for email transmissions now Google provides three different SMPT settings in which you can send email from a uh, printer scanner or application like your PLC now, the first one is SMTP relay service um, also then we also have G uh, Gmail SMTT server now both of these require um, you to put passwords in and authentication uh, is required for each one of these so what we'll actually be using is the third method which is restricted Gmail SMTT server and you do not require any uh, um, auth uh, authentication at all and however you'll be restricted to actually sending messages only to the Gmail account which is okay in our case because once you have the email sent to a Gmail account you can then use filters to forward that to a variety of different um, uh, a variety of different other customers or, or users that you want to send that email to it's actually advantageous because what will happen is in the field often email email addresses and, and data changes so you want to be able to quickly change that and what better way of just going online and changing those email addresses so that's basically what we're going to be doing so restricted Gmail service is what we're going to be using from Gmail um, so the first thing we'll do is actually look at our setup and our setup from um, our, our uh, do more software so we'll look at the configuration here and under the configuration you'll see the internet um, the ethernet port that we have here in your configuration and what we want to do is we want to ensure that we have the right address and the sub mask as well as the gateway now as you can see we are connected to our PLC we're connected through our ethernet port right here and through the um, programming or our do more designer software through our USB port located right here so these are the settings for our Ethernet uh, port that we're using to set up our email so we need a link to actually um, our our internet which is actually our gateway so this gateway is from the network and it tells us um, how to get to the uh, ether or internet from our location so once we have that set hit OK. The next thing we have to do is create a device to, to handle the email. And you'll see here the type of device is SMTP client, which is email. And what we're going to do is just uh, uh, edit that. So if not, we could actually just uh, do a new device and say it's an uh, SMTP client. Um, so what we do is we put in our uh, SMTP server IP address, which comes from our Google. Now, if we don't know that, then what we do is use the DNS lookup table. And what you'll find is that if we put in um, aspmx.l.google.com and we say lookup, it actually will come up with a IP address for us to use to, uh, for our server itself. So once we have that, we can then select that and that becomes our DNS lookup value. Or server IP address value and then we have our SMTP port which is set for 25 our timeout can be left at 30 and then our from address um, typically we want to use the same address that we're sending it to um, I just used my my address here at Gmail now authentic uh, authentication we leave that as disabled so we'll hit OK and now we have our um, we have our email client our device all set to go. Let's hit OK for that. 
So now what we have is um, we are currently online here and if we look at the actual program itself we have our email and in our email instruction you'll see here that we put a, our SMTP device which we just made at, at email we put in our address you'll notice that this is our quotation marks so I put my my gmail address in here I put the subject which is BRX series PLC email with attachment and we will be doing an attachment on this um, automatically insert a space after each term this is used with the message so if we have multiple um, registers that we're sending out for this message we can put spaces in between so here we have the message and it says the file contains the log of memory location v0 it currently is and I put actually v0 outside so we should actually see a value when that appears then we have um, attach file we're going to use the system file this is what we did last time and we created uh, log files so we have it on our SD card that's uh, located in the controller and the file name is actually my file log dot csv which is a comma separated value and then I said delete the file after the email sent so once it's sent successfully it will delete that file so it will continue vlogging as we did before then we have on success bit which is c0 and on error bit which is c1 which we can use later on in our program if we wish so that's it for setting up our email now looking at uh, um, looking at in our instruction I put uh, internal c10 will actually send our email out now the next two lines what we have is our one second it will actually increment v0 and then we have our file log and again it is um, triggering um, basically my file log that's the one we're going to attach it's going to v0 it's triggered on event and we have the set bit for error and six our, our success and on error so it's okay for that so every second this is this file is locking the information on v0 so that's the entire program and so what we'll do is we'll throw our, our switch here into our run mode and what you'll notice is that um, my memory uh, bit flag will start flashing a little bit indicating that I am logging information now you can see here on my screen I have V0 uh, now at uh, counting up for me which is good so I have some information that I'm building in my log and then what happens is I will now send or set this value so let's just change that value we will turn it on write that into the PLC and then we'll turn it off all right now once we do that now what we've seen is that our on success bit it actually is on right now and our numbers are still counting so we will look at actually at our Gmail account and you notice here that I have one um, unit or one message in here which is the exact same thing that we specified it's the brick series PLC email with attachment and it came in at this time if I click this it comes up with a message and here in my message um, it basically tells me that it's not sent to spam because we've created a filter so we'll discuss filters in a minute here and it says right here the file contains a log memory v0 it currently has 34 now 34 is what the value was when I sent that message um, in the PLC and here is my log file that I've just had I can click it we can quickly see here um, the the log file itself if I go down to the very end or close to the area and you can see here that here's my log value right now okay so that's my uh, log value very good very uh, quick and easy now let's take a look at we'll go back to the inbox here and look at let's look at filters now filters you can come up with a couple different ways but you can either go down here and start punching the subject to create the filter itself 
or what I like to do is actually go to uh, my settings and then go back into the settings here and what you'll see is um, we'll see forwarding and POP and under that we will actually find um, the oh sorry filters and blocked addresses so um, that's under settings so when you do that here is the filter that I created and if we want to edit that okay, what we have is the subject which is the BRX series PLC email with attachment and with that attachment it's the actual subject so when that comes into my email it takes that and then creates uh, or applies the filter to that so if we can hit continue you see that when we do that what we do is we forward it to a um, my mobile phone or my text SMS messaging system I also say never send it to spam that means that it will always go into my inbox so that's why it came into my inbox in that case here now my forwarding it automatically forwards it to my um, my text phone here and if I then call that up what you will see is um, the actual uh, message then appears as it should on my phone and here it is right here let's make that come in clear so the, the message actually came in and you can see the exact same information as we did before so that's setting up a, and then we can update filter account we're just going to cancel this because we didn't really change any of the settings themselves so we'll go back to our inbox and sure enough there's the, the email again so let's go back to um, our program and what we'll do is we will actually um, send the, the next um, email message change value do is change it to a on so it's on now then we'll turn it off and now it's off thanks to there so now if we go back to our email um, um, inbox here again you'll see another email message and this message here has another log file now we click it it actually starts at 40 as you see and goes up to 287 so you see that my 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 log from our previous time has erased itself and we have a new log system our new log started so let's go back now so that is our gmail system and again if I look at my text because we did uh, forward it I have now my new text message on my screen and you see the the values now changed and the value is now 287 that I had it okay. so you can see that um, um, sending email is not that complicated and every time you have a uh, operation in the field you could always use Gmail in order to um, grab the information you want from the PLC and send it to anyone you wish to have it sent to okay. now if you, all the links and documentation that we've talked about here can be found on our website at accautomation.ca we've also provide some links for the uh, text messaging that you want to send out using different uh, brands of or different um, suppliers for your cell phone services and um, if you like this video and like to see more there are three ways in which you can help us out you can give us a thumbs up on YouTube just just so other people can find this information just as you have you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. Every time you do, you'll get notification um, when we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Now that's it for now. Thanks for watching.